Hello, my beautiful spirits. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, and I'm so happy to see you here. Let's jump into this reading and see what the overall energy from Spirit is, Gemini. Let's see what's happening. Into me, I see. Okay, so you're really having a lot of self-understanding. Right now, you're in a very grounded, very exquisite sense of being feeling very comfortable in your own skin and really elevating spiritually to a higher level right now, Gemini. So we see the divine matrix. You're here to learn a lesson in this love relationship. Uh, and it, it's about ascension. It's not hard lessons. It's really about lifting yourself above the fray and seeing the big picture and the land in between. So you're in a period of growth, bridging some awarenesses and knowledge that you have with your ancestors to the present time for you. Look at the energy. The overall energy of this love reading is the Eight of Coins, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. So this is really about learning. It's about mastery. It's about mastering whatever it is that you value because coins are always on a very mundane level. The day-to-day, -day, in and out, this is Virgo energy and it's all about doing the work from Monday through Sunday to have a beautiful relationship. The six of coins equal give and take. Both of you wanting to give this lovely energy to each other. I love that six of coins. It's just exquisite. In the recent past, you and your partner um, have had some sort of argument, some sort of disagreement, discomfort. The Five of Swords is pretty thorny. <clears throat> it oftentimes comes with an action on someone's uh, part of, of really maybe saying something unkind because swords are typically communication. But the Five of Swords with the Two of Cups means that words, harsh words, were spoken. So let's see what that's about. Three of Coins. So the Three of Coins, look at that collaborate, you know, it's all about collaborating. So both of you participated in some sort of desire to have an egocentric win and some disagreement. What is that disagreement about? Six of Cups. Wow, it's about love. It's about philosophy. The two of you have... Uh, I also would say for many of you, this is the reconciliation or the reunion card with somebody from the past. So you may have had an argument because somebody had a text or some, some somebody had a communication from another lover. And what we're seeing here is that it's just... Um, it caused a fight. That's what I'm seeing. Sometimes people have intense relationships with ex-spouses, with children. You know, there's many reasons people stay connected if they owned property together. So what I'm seeing here is that you and your love had a discourse that was a little unpleasant because there's a feeling that one of you is still too close to somebody from the past. The Hierophant card, marriage card, marriage energy, the universe... Uh, both of you trying to decide whether marriage is for you or marriage is for the relationship. You're trying to look at things from a different perspective. This is your mutual energy. So it's Pisces energy. It's sort of just very staying calm, cool, collected, seeking enlightenment, you know, very much wanting to make decisions about exactly what you think you want for the future. So it doesn't really speak to definitely getting married, but very much having a lot of conversations about what a happy relationship looks like, which is very favorable. When we get the Knight of Cups, your person wants to be romantic and look at this Emperor energy. So your person wants to be, I like to call it Lance Romance, but uh, they want to come in. You know, the way they see the relationship is very romantic. Something in which they can really level up. Your person feels that this relationship is very intense. They are sort of obsessed with it. When we get the Emperor card, the Emperor card with the Sun card, your person is not going anywhere. They want you and only you. Your person feels that you're the only person that they could have 
a certain kind of a life or a certain kind of a way to live with you. Gemini, Gemini. Well, we know that. You know, Wheel of Fortune, they're waiting for the proper time or the perfect time. Look at that. Wheel of three major arcanas, four, um, five. I mean, you've got so many major arcanas here. But the Wheel of Fortune with the Sun card, with the Sky Father uh, Hierophant card, your person is very much determined to win your heart. They see you as very enthusiastic, a lot of fun, very, very uh, passionate. Eight of Wands, you know, keep the fire extinguisher next to the bed. The sheets could implode. And then we see this card, we see next to it, we see the Nine of Wands reversed. They see you as a person who's very effortless, that when you give something a lot of attention, you do it in such an easy, breezy, effortless way that you make it look easy. So that's a really interesting thing. And Gemini, you are pretty cool, calm, and collected most of the time. Your person feels as though you have had some difficulties of some sort, some heartbreak or some financial downturn. And so they, they see you in this effort. You're making a big effort to recoup things and move forward rapidly. The chariot card, love that card. Honey, I'm home. You are really, you're doing very well for yourself. So when we look at the king of wands, this person feels fiery and passionate. They want to come in. They want to take your hand. They want to take a little bit of control here in this relationship. They want the leadership role. Wands, 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 wands. I mean, they're very impassioned by you. So when we look at the ace of wands, why is it here? All right, your person's coming in with daddy energy, my friends. That's a king of pentacles. So they're coming in to show you how much they love you uh, by what they can give you. So your person may be someone who's very, uh, who's earthborn, you know, very materialistic. Um, your person is very, very grounded, but they show their love by what they give, what they do for you. They're not going to stand around swooning over you because they're very much a leader in their own right but we do see your person is in this energy of the devil and this person is obsessed with you this person wants to be the leader the boss the person who makes the heavy hitting decisions about the relationship the devil energy capricorn energy that is their unwillingness to give up they want control I don't like it because I find this to be energy that really is can be very disruptive to a relationship. It can destroy a relationship because if everything ha it's the like their way or the highway kind of energy. And a lot of times we see that with people who are emperors because we saw that emperor card. We see that, you know, my way or the highway kind of thinking. And they th but they feel like you are a rock star like hey she, I'm gonna walk down the red carpet with my beautiful Gemini friend here uh, they see you as the pen ultimate glorious uh, star that you are rock star beautiful inside beautiful outside spiritual healing you know energy that you have we see the Knight of Pentacles again Virgo energy clarified by the king of swords so both of you are in this energy of wanting to win and you're both all up in your head about what that looks like the nine of swords is a card of worry sleepless nights is this going to work and we see both of you calming your that energy down being very intellectual being very communicative when you're alone together okay so it does look like both of you are agreeing behind closed doors. Eight of coins to keep working on it. Eight of coins twice. The five of swords and the death card. Your person is what we see that spirit is giving you a message about Gemini is that this person can be really thorny. If you recall, we had the five of swords winning at all costs right there in this relationship. And it looks as though they brought that energy in. I, you know, Spirit is saying Five of Swords is very negative, that it is a, a card of trying to take advantage. And so Spirit is saying, do not let that energy in. 
Spirit is saying, do not be very wary, be very careful that that person is going to try to rule the roost with their money, with how decisions are made about money. And so they see you, though, again, as the one they want. But let's look and see why the death card is here, because spirit is saying, don't do that. Don't let them ever take advantage. This person does have the ability to be your best friend, but they also have the ability to hurt you and not really see that they're doing that they're doing anything wrong. How does this person tell me more about this devil card up here? What's this devil card about? Yeah, see, this person's obsessed. They're absolutely obsessed with you. They absolutely adore you, love you. Why is a devil card here? Why do they want to manipulate or control movement of swords? They like for things to be their way. That's They're very, very quick to act. Your person sees that they're a leader because usually they can make decisions up fast. I said that backwards, but you know what I meant. Um, but what we do see is that your person wants to move very quickly, but they also want to show you that they are reliable. So we get the Knight, we get the Knight of Pentacles twice here. So there is a lot of Earth sign energy. Why do we have the Three of Cups here? Healing. Ooh. Oh, look at this. You're going to be healing devil energy. Spirit is saying until this person lets go of the toxicity that this is not a good relationship for you. So, you know, but it's all about learning. Spirit is saying, hey, heads up. It's okay. That's what tarot readings are for, right? It helps you understand more deeply. The Ace of Coins is your outcome. That is a possible ring is offered. A An offer is made. It looks like this could be a reconciliation. And the Page of Swords says that you may be communicating a lot by text right now. For some of you, this is a reunion. This is a reconciliation. Temperance card is the number one. Balancing things out, having a healthy, happy relationship, the Ace of Coins, doing the work, making the offer, and we have the Spirit of Cups, the Scorpio King. So it is the ability to transcend, transform. So why do we have the Devil card here as a clarifier? This person holds back. This person is stingy and they have a tendency to take care of their own needs first. It would be the sort of person who might go to the refrigerator and get themselves a drink and not think of you, even though you're sitting there, and you would do that for them. So on a small scale, it's an annoying habit. On a big scale, this person makes decisions that are good for them routinely, and that's that's going to be something you'll have to work through. So you can see what work is cut out for you at this point in time. You can tell what has to be done in this relationship. Your person's not going to go anywhere. That I would I would say that they're pretty much obsessed with you. But your challenge here, Gemini, will be to keep everything so that you're very steady and that they don't really impact you with this desire for control. So I'm leaving it there. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what's going on with this reading in your lives. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.